Integrated Math 1 practice test uh, for 10, ready, TCAP, whatever. Um, question number 23, sub part 3, we're in now. The thing about this question is it was a really good question back when this test was going to definitely be done on computer, but now that it's by hand, it might be a little bit more difficult to draw out, but nothing too serious. It's not super difficult unless you haven't seen this type of question before, which is maybe why you're coming here. So thanks. Anyway, Karen is buying supplies for a party. doesn't say what type. She plans to spend at least $100 on food and at least $50 on party favors. She can spend no more than a total of $250 on food or and party favors. So So that's her budget, it's $250. Graphs a solution set to the amount of money Karen can spend on food and party favors and spend no more than $250. So we're going to make one statement about food, we're going to make one statement about party favors, and we're going to make one statement about uh, the maximum amount that we're allowed to spend. Now, in order to understand the relationship here in the grid, you might say that uh, these are dollars amounts, and we'll say this one is food, it doesn't really matter. Dollars of food or price of food or something. And for here we'll have dollars of party favors. I'm assuming like there's this little things that you uh, blow air into and they make the noise or whatever. They probably had the Power Rangers on them. That's like that's the kind of party that uh, I'm, I'm envisioning. Something at Chuck E. Cheese or something. Anyway, I need to make a statement that shows that I can't. I can only spend a hundred dollars on food. Now the grid is an important component of this. Obviously, what does each represent? Well, this each point on the graph. So say I have this point right here. This point says something very specific about what's going on at that party. It tells me that $80 are being spent on food and $100 are being spent on party favors. That's an important component because it's going to tell me where I'm going to make uh, possible limits for each thing. I have a limit of $100 on food. So what I'm going to do is almost create uh, a line there that will tell me, or I guess it's a segment in this case, it's not going to go on forever, that's for sure. Um, that will allow me to show at a hundred dollars. So here's a hundred. There's my line for food. I can't buy any more than that. That's the oh, sorry, at least a hundred dollars. So, so this is the minimum amount I'm going to spend on food. These these people will not be eating three cheese crackers, and that's all. It's better than a hundred, unless there's a ton of people coming. Uh, she also wants to spend at least $50 on party favors. So I'm going to set my lower limit there as well. So $50 is right here, so I want to draw that line. So in this area, this is where uh, my possible amounts of money could spend if I had unlimited budget all the way up to here, where I'd be spending $280 on um, both party favors and food. The problem is, she has a budget limit of $250. So I need to find a point at $250, which is right here, because this point would indicate that she spent $250 on party favors and nothing on food. So I hope you like those little noisemakers for Power Rangers. Down here would be all food, no party favors. I, I don't know, even what I'd prefer. I guess it depends on where it is. So I'm going to draw a line to connect those two points right here. Anywhere under here would represent all her budget possibilities. Even our original 180 would fall into the possible range. Now the final answer is a little bit more um, uh, specific than that. The part where they overlap, and this is going to shift those things a little bit, and I forgot about that part, so I'm going to go and uh, make an adjustment to this so that it changes, so right in here. This part in the middle represents all of the possible dollar spending situations that Karen could align herself in, and that is my final answer. That's the solution set. Not down here where I made a mistake, sorry about that. Whoopsie. Just in this point through here. Click, click, click. All of that.
So there you go. All possible. Uh, she could spend $130 on food and $80 on party favors and still meet her requirements. As little as this, as much as this, and maximize all within that little zone of answers. That's it.